What's up, Des? Yeah, you're probably muted, um, and that's okay. Uh, if you go to the top or to the bottom of your screen, you'll see a little mic, like if you hover. And then you should see like mute or unmute, and if you click that, can you hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up? I just unmuted you. Can you talk? Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you now. Great. Yeah, so I'll, you'll, you'll probably remain um, muted for the, and I'm gonna just gonna mute everybody because it gets really crazy once we get a bunch of people on the call. Okay. So I'll, I'll leave you guys muted and then uh, all, all you guys will have a chance to kind of, we'll discuss, you know, what we got going on and you guys have any questions, we'll discuss them. But there should be a chat. There should be a chat box that you can open up that we just talked on. And like, so as we're going, if you have any questions, you can just hit them up on the chat and then I'll read them. And then once we get done, then I'll, I'll try to answer them. What's up, Joe? Chimo, what's up, Chimo? I was saying we were watching Brenda uh, rearrange the pantry for the 30th time. <laughs> She's rotating all the, all the products in there. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man. I, I don't, I can't even tell you how many times I've gone to the pantry or to the fridge. Tell me, man. <laughs> like I work out and I got, I'm eating double. I know, right? Oh man, it's like habits too, you know. It's like habits. You just go in there, and then you like, you're, you're, you go to it, and you like forget why you're there, you know. You're like, why am I here? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh man. Well, we finally just went and bought a bunch of produce and trying to live off of that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey guys, what's up? If you guys can open up, I hope you guys can see the, the PDF that we made that we sent you guys. And then if you guys can open up your chat, um, and then you guys will remain muted just cause it's, cause it'll get crazy. if We go on, we unmute like a whole bunch of people. And then what I'll do is, so what we'll do is if you have any questions, um, hit them up on the, like put them on the chat and then we'll be able to, I'll be able to read them and stuff like that. And then whenever we get done, I'll go back and then I'll, 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 I'll read the questions and I'll try my best to answer everything. Um, but we got about five, we got about four minutes and then um, we'll get started here. I hope everybody can see the, the PDF. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Joe. Hey. Linda, I see you guys are on. Hey, Carmen. How are you? It's, it's good morning for me. I just woke up. I worked all night, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm good. You guys doing all right? Everybody's good. Good. Making it? Yep. Carmen, what do you do? 
I'm a game warden. How was that? How 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 is that on your end? You guys are pretty busy. Um, it's it's kind of been. I, I guess the the message we're getting from our colonel is is just be out. You know, kind of we're first responders. So, but they it's kind of a a, a kind of a double edged sword. They want us out, but they don't want us making contacts. So you right. know, you just want people to see you out there. Admin, if they, you know, if they need anything, stuff like that. I, I'm in special operations, so what I do is a little different, but the field basically is kind of just flying the flag, you know, just kind of being out in areas where they know that people would be and just, but but not making contact, which is hard. You know, you're out there, you're going to talk to people. So right. anyway, it's been tough for, for a lot of people, but we're hoping. So far, we've only, I think, had one game warden that's been positive, and thankfully, um, they've kind of already come full circle, went through the bad stuff, and then, and then, um, and are doing much better now. So, so far, I think, as far as we know, um, there's only been one. So we're, we've well, been lucky this far. Well, thank you. Thank you for your service. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, I know you have uh, Trent. Uh, who else? Jason? That I think are game ones, too. Um, yes, Trent Hare. He is a... Um, a, uh, a um, Park ranger at the national park okay. in at at the at the at the national seashore. Yes, I oh. met him. I think one of my first Saturdays. Not met him. I, I've known him, but I saw him there. Um, one of the first Saturdays that we did uh, one of the community wads. What about Jason? I, I, he comes to Whitecap. I think he's the same. A game. Um, no, um, park ranger too. Jason. What's his last name? Oh, I don't know, but he's uh, tall, bald. He has no hair. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I know who you're talking about. I can't think of his last name right now. I know who you're talking about. Yes, he is. He, I think he's also out there. Cool. Yeah. I guess you guys are out there more for like, de like, de like deterrence and then people know that you guys are still out there. Yes. And I work down in the Valley and over there, oh, as a matter of fact, um, like at, at midnight, if you're out, so their shelter in place is a lot more strict than ours is in, in Noises County. So there, if you're out, um, after midnight, and if you don't have essential business to be out, you're getting a ticket. Oh, wow. They stop it. Yes, yeah, so the, the constables, the sheriff's deputies, um, they'll stop you, and you'll be written a ticket for, um, for basically being out after, like on Saturday, it's midnight. I think during the week, it's 10 o'clock, but the curfew, and it's strictly enforced. I mean, we saw them making stops all night last night um, where they're basically telling people, you know, you got to be at home. Right. And, um, and there's so basically there, nobody's allowed to access any of the boat ramps, um, any public piers and stuff like that. So they're, they're pretty, they've been pretty strict with them um, enforcing it. Right. So. Oh man. Trying to keep their numbers down, I think too, is what they're doing. They've been pretty lucky so far down there, but, um, I think they're working really hard to keep those numbers down. Are they lower than ours? I think they are. Yes. Yes, I think they are. And, and it's weird, like in the last couple of days, they saw a little spike, but, um, but they, it's been slow. Their kind of it, uh, increase has been slower than ours. Um, what about the testing? Is there enough testing going around? Or? I don't know. You know, down there, I'm not sure where they're testing. I, I, I don't even know where they're testing here, actually, but um, I'm not sure um, down there where they're doing some tests. Does, does anybody know where the test sites are here in town? Oh, is it? Okay. Memorial. Jeff says Memorial. Yeah, I I know there's some drive-through ones, right? Let's say two. There's two drive-through testing sites, um, and I guess the the, the other ones would be at, at at any ER or whatever. But I know there's okay. two, two drive-through ones. Um, but I think that was one of our biggest problems is that we were just not testing enough to know. You know? And then you know the results. So there's a you know I guess there's like a a a wait time you know before you get mm -hmm. your results. So um, down in the Valley, I heard a story about a guy who he's in Port Isabel and he's a taxi driver who tested positive and, um, and he was positive. And so I guess I'm sure that when you test positive, they probably give you some kind of rule, you know, kind of some, something to follow, like go home, don't be around anybody. And right. so he was still, he was still driving his cab after testing positive. Oh, wow. It's just. Yes, yeah, just reckless, terrible. So the sheriff, or you know, probably the chief deputy there in Cameron County, said um, somebody he sent officers to this guy's house and said, "Go pay him a personal visit and tell him that if he does not stay home, we're going to arrest him and take him to jail." Because hmm. he was refusing to self quarantine after he was already positive. So you can imagine, no, wow. it's just terrible. 
It's crazy. Well, what's up, guys? How, how's everybody doing? Good, good. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave everybody muted, okay, for just for the sole purpose of, like, it starts getting really crazy on everybody's end as far as audio. Um, so, and then I'll run down on kind of, like, the stuff that I have written here that I want to go over to make sure that uh, you guys get all the information. And then if you guys have any questions, there's a chat, right? There's a chat box that you guys can, um, that you guys can write a question in, right? As I go through um, my spiel. And then, um, you know, we'll come back to the questions, we'll answer the questions. And then, so we have that, like I wanna go over, um, I wanna go over all the, the new things that we have going on that we're offering. Um, and then the second part, we'll just have like what we did last week. If you guys were not here last week, we just kind of had an open discussion on just how everybody's feeling, right? Like what's some obstacles that you guys are going through that you guys need help with. And maybe somebody else is going through the same thing that maybe, um, they can shed some light and, and, and kind of help each other out. Um, and really it's just an open discussion and just, you know, and, 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 uh, really just trying to see everybody's everybody's face. I'm going to see some familiar faces. Um, but okay, cool. So thank you guys for coming. Um, okay. So hopefully that everybody can see this screen. Thank you, Ms. Yaz for making this amazing PDF and putting this, this, uh, this very, very informative, um, piece of paper together for us. Uh, everybody should have gotten emailed this information. Okay. So as you guys know, we've been, we've, we've been extended for another month, right? So April 30th, uh, we've been extended. So um, I've told the team and I've told the guys that we need to shift our mindset to becoming a, an online gym, right? And that is what we are now. You know, we are, no, we are no longer a brick and mortar team. And that's just for us, right? And because, you know, it is very different, right? So even with the like scheduling and things like that. So um, we are now an online gym because – we don't know if in April 30th, they're going to be like, okay, we're going to go an extra 30 days, right? Like, I mean, that's worst case scenario. And obviously we're all very hopeful that we're back to the gym in no time in May, but we never know. Right. And like I said, if we prepare for the worst, then there's not, there's not going to be any surprises. Um, so as far as like RN and, and our, and, and our guys and our staff are like, man, we're now an online service and we're an online gym. And how can we keep providing um, the same or close to, or not even, uh, even better, uh, service to you guys. Right. Um, so, um, we've put together some stuff and then, and then I'm going to go over, um, every single little detail. And then again, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Okay. So equipment rental, that one's ongoing. Literally. I, I think I have like one air bike left at white cap. I have a couple of Bella bars, but really like guys, like everything has, it's, it's, it's gone. If you guys want bands or if you guys want like um, little things every here and there, um, we may still have them available, but just like the, the, the big, a lot of the big stuff is gone. Uh, literally have no more rowers. But if you guys want anything, I know Kat came yesterday. She got the last road bike. Um, but uh, if you guys want anything or need anything, let me know and, and we'll try to accommodate you guys with, with, uh, with some of the equipment that we do have. Um, so that's the equipment rental. Okay, and this is the big one, right? The, the, the Zoom classes that we're starting. Okay, so they're going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. It, and, and those classes are going to be 6 a.m., noon, and then 6 p.m. They are 60 minutes long. Um, and then we're going to run them just like we do our classes now, right? So we'll have a warm-up, right? We'll have a strength piece. We'll have a conditioning piece, and we will be running all three workouts. So the barbell workout, the kettlebell workout, and the body weight option. And then we'll have a cool down at the end. So we'll run them exactly like we would normally would run them. Okay? You can reserve your spot on Zen Planner. So you guys can go to Zen Planner and actually get to, you guys can get to the class on Zoom through Zen Planner. Um, now, you don't, guys don't, do not have to reserve your spot because – there's a lot of different, I mean, there's 250 spots that I put on there. But one cool thing that, that, that would be cool that I was thinking is, it's always really nice to see how many people are coming to class, right? Like, 
like if your friends come into class and if you look and if like you see a class that's like, you know, has like 60 people in it or something like that, it'd be like, oh, cool, man, I want to go to that class. Or, or maybe it's like, oh, man, you know, um, all the 5 p.m. crew, you know, Kat and um, Amanda and Mark, right, uh, and Lily are coming to the 6 a.m. that I want to come to that, right? So it's really cool to see like who's coming to class and then maybe you want to hop on that, that one too. So I think that'll be a really good like way to motivate others and to see like, oh man, we got actually a bunch of people coming to class. I want to be part of this class, right? So I encourage you guys to sign up or reserve your spot for the class and that'll be, that could motivate somebody to get into the class themselves. But you don't, again, you don't have to. That, that is just a way to get to the class. Um, we, and then just so you guys know, the classes are not free. So this is not a free service that we are providing to like the world, right? We're not putting out the Zoom link, the, the, the links on Zoom, um, on social media or anything like that. This is exclusively for just for our members, right? Um, we felt that, you know, you guys are paying for a service. We don't need an additional 30 people in there because, you know, then we can't pay attention to you guys, right? Our priority is you guys. So we wanted to make sure that this service was only offered to our members, right? So, so that's why it was really cool that, that, that Zen Planner and Zoom actually come, uh, they, they, uh, they kind of talked and they put this together for, for people that are doing Zen, that, that are part of the Zen Planner family. Um, what else? What else? Uh, so yeah, so we're, like I said, like we're going to be running those Zoom classes exactly like we would run um, a regular class. Okay, 60 minutes long. We'll be doing all three workouts for the conditioning piece, the barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell, and body weight. Okay. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, what else? And the Thursday. Okay. So Thursdays is a little bit different. As you guys know, Thursday is a single modality day, right? Run, bike, row. So obviously like that'll be kind of boring just to run that class. Just like, all right, guys, go run. And I'll just stand there for whatever, you know? So uh, what we're doing for Thursdays is you guys will do your conditioning piece on your own. Okay. Whether you go to a track or, or, you know, you're doing the, the rowing, the biking or whatever, you guys will do that on your own. We're going to be providing a 6 PM yoga class. So you guys can actually do the additional conditioning and then use that 6 PM for like a recovery piece. Okay. Or something like that. So, so we will be running that 6 PM yoga. Um, I don't know if you guys were here, but Amber, uh, used to teach our yoga classes. Amber is a um, uh, military spouse that she is now in Cali, right? Well, we're doing virtual. And so I was like, man, you know what? Let's contact her. A lot of people liked her and the way she ran the yoga class. Um, so I contacted her and then she's going to be actually the one that's going to be doing our yoga classes, All right? So she'll be in Cali doing the yoga class. And then, um, but it'll be our time here at 6 p.m. Um, it's, and, and if those of you that were here with Amber, man, she's a really, really good instructor. Uh, she has a lot of experience. So, and she kind of, she knew, um, you know, what type of yoga to run, especially for CrossFitters. So people, people really enjoyed having her around and people were really bummed when she left too. So I, I was like, man, that's a good way to bring her back. Um, so yeah, so we'll have that 6 PM yoga, uh, for the zoom classes. Okay. Um, what else? And then I think that's it guys. That's it. Again, if you guys have any questions, put them on the chat. Okay. All right. Our next part. Um, the cooking class with my wife. Erica's my wife. Okay. If you guys don't uh, know who she is, give her a follow on Instagram or Facebook. Okay. Um, her, her Instagram handle is Isira. So it's Erica spelled backwards. Okay. And it'll say Isira Martinez. Um, and then you'll, you'll, you'll see her and then you'll see my um, I think you see Camila on there on the, on the page, but, uh, never, nevertheless, she, she has a bunch of pictures. Like man, she, she loves to cook. She loves to cook. She, she, um, she knows how to make, um, uh, healthy food taste good. Um, and she has a whole bunch of pictures, man. She's like a foodie, right? She food blogs and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, she has all kinds of pictures of her breakfast and lunch and dinners and stuff like that. So, um, we wanted to add this. I think this will be a good time. Everybody's going to be at home, right? And everybody has a lot of time to kind of put their stuff together. So what we're going to do is on Thursdays at 5.30, right, we're going to have this class, right? So basically what it'll be is Erica will, Erica will be cooking a dish, right? And then we're going to give you guys 
um, a food list and, and like instructions on what to prep and what to have ready. And then we'll Zoom call that one. Okay, we'll be on a, a, a Zoom chat just like this. And then, you know, Erica will take you step by step on how to make um, this uh, dish. So this first week's dish is a uh, chicken stir fry. Um, and then the rice is going to be cauliflower rice, right? So, and again, you guys will get the email today as far as like what to, what to buy. And then, um, like if you don't have a food processor for the cauliflower rice, right? You just buy already pre-made cauliflower rice. And then, um, and then that way you can have that portion of, of, of the meal, right? So here, right now we're going to have it every Thursday at 5.30. So we're here we're just hoping to, you know, um, pass on some information and, and, you know, again, doing community and cooking together and, and really just trying to, you know, uh, put some ideas out there for you guys so you guys can start cooking healthy and things like that. I know that we have the, like some, some of the chats and then Trevor's been doing a really good job on, on posting healthy meals. I mean, but the hardest part is actually like, how do I put this all together? Right. Not everybody has all the skills to cook. Um, so we was like, man, let's just try to do something really easy and instructive so that we can provide with you guys on Thursday. So, uh, that's kind of like our, our plan for Thursday. So we're going to have that for you guys available. And if you guys don't want to cook during the class, that's totally fine. If you just want to watch and just take notes and then just cook that later, you guys can do that too as well. So, um, so that is cooking class with Erica at 5.30 on Thursdays, okay? And it'll start this Thursday. And then we'll, we're gonna keep going, right? We're gonna keep going uh, for every single Thursday. We'll, we're gonna keep that going too. Um, all right, and then the last part of here is the 30 minute consultations, okay? So this one, if you guys click on the link here, the link is gonna take you, that, the little um, red link there is gonna take you to our calendar and you're gonna, it's gonna be able to schedule a 30 minute call with one of our coaches. Okay. Um, you know, I think that's like one of the really unique things that is going on. Obviously, like we, we don't want this to happen, but it happened. But it's one of the really unique things that's going on right now is that, man, we, we really have a lot of time to kind of like, you know, there's not a lot of extracurricular activities going on, right? There's not the, the, the wedding shower. There's not the, my brother's graduation and there's not the, you know, the pamper party, right? Like, man, we got some time, right? So, and I know you guys, you know, have some things that you've been wanting to do, but because of there was all these distractions and you got to prioritize and what's important and what's not important. We got time right now to really like settle in and, and, and really like think about, you know, what we want with our fitness goals, right? Whether it be on the performance side and then nutrition side, or just maybe overall just mindset. Right. And then like, so what we're doing is we're making ourselves available right? And then what we want you guys to do is to click on the link, reserve a spot, and then think about some things that you guys want to talk about that you guys need help with, right? And then you'll get on a call just like this, one-on-one, -on -one, nobody else is listening, and we'll talk about, and we'll walk through, and hopefully give you, shed some light and give you the tools that you need to be able to, um, be able to achieve your goal, whether it be weight loss, performance, muscle gain, maybe overall mindset, maybe you need some, some, um, some help with, uh, how do I sleep better? What do I need to do to get better sleep, get better rest? You know, uh, what do I need to do to, you know, drink more water? I hate water. Right. Or, um, man, I, you know, I have a really hard time digesting protein. Like, you know, when I, you know, eat a lot of protein, I get bloated, you know, okay, well, these are the things that you need to do. And, and what are you eating? What types of food are you eating? You know, you like to, you know, what, what are your food sensitivities? So again, like we can talk about anything and everything, and this is really a unique opportunity that we have where like everything is at a standstill where we can really like sit down, regroup and just really talk and then walk through on what you need. Right. So whether again, whether it be nutrition, performance, mindset, motivation, um, uh, accountability, productivity, how to schedule your day, things like that. I mean, I mean, you know, anything and everything. That's what that Zoom call is for. Okay. Um, we do want to try to, uh, limit the, the zoom call, um, once a week. Okay. So if you need weekly ones, um, we can do that, but really try to, let's, let's try to minimize it to, to, to once a week on that. Um, that way we can uh, give everybody the opportunity to be able to get on one of these calls. Um, does anybody have any questions on this stuff?
have anything that I talked about. Going nobody. What about any 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 of the coaches that want to maybe elaborate or maybe I missed something? Did I did did, did I hold it down pretty good? Yeah, I will. Um, I'll just add to anybody that uh, might be. Um, let's say skeptical, but uh, all the coaches did the, the Zoom workout on Fridays and they, they are very helpful. Um, it's one of those you kind of go in and I wasn't too sure about what it would be like actually having a workout over video. I thought, you know, I can work out on my own, but it was definitely, it brought the atmosphere of the gym back. And so I encourage everybody to give it a shot um, because it was, it was very helpful. Um, it was very helpful for me. I enjoyed it immensely. So um, definitely give that a shot. And if you have time, for the yoga on Thursday with Amber. Um, I was a big fan of hers and I've done yoga at two or three different studios since she left Contender and um, none of them have been quite the same. So uh, if you get the chance, uh, definitely uh, definitely sit in for those because they're fantastic. Oh man, I love that. Yeah, uh, thank you, Tommy. That was one of my plans to kind of get you guys perspective on the classes because a lot of people can be very skeptical. I'm like, ah, it's a Zoom class and it's like, and you know it's you know it's 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 not gonna be the same and guys we 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 you know just like tommy was saying man we we put in a lot of effort um to get these zoom classes you know um to provide like the best experience possible so we had two trials we had one at noon and then we had one at 6 p.m uh yesterday it's friday i'm sorry and um and the coaches were actually you know, participating as the athletes and we just kind of went back and forth and, and just to, you know, learn and, and what was the good and the bad and how can we, how can we can, uh, how can we can improve? Um, but you no know, guys, I think there's going to be some people that are going to be like, nah, I don't know about these zoom classes and stuff like that. So I really want you guys to experience it yourself. Um, and if you really do like it, I want you guys to talk to the people that you talk to within the gym and encourage them to come to the gym because then if we only get one or two people in those classes, it's not going to be what we want it to be, you know? Um, and we're really making them really interactive. We're making them, we're making them fun. Um, we're, you know, we got some things that we, we do before and after just to get everybody just, you know, involved in things like that. So, I mean, there was a lot of thought, there was a lot of planning that went into this. It wasn't just like, Hey, you know what, let's do some zoom classes. And now, you know, we got zoom and here we go. Um, you know, we actually like got a really good setup and we made sure everything was in the frame and again, like make sure that the, the class ran, it ran well. So again, it was, it was very thoughtful and, uh, we took a lot of things into consideration to make sure that, you know, it got close to or not better than what you guys experienced here at the gym. But with that said, like we can have all the technology and we can have the best coaching and then we can have this and we can have that. If we don't have you guys in there, it doesn't matter right? Like, you know, um, the participants is what's going to matter. Like you guys showing up to the class, you know, putting out, you know, and then disseminating it over like, like all of our members and then posting your workouts on Sugar Wad, you know, and just supporting each other and helping each other um, within these platforms. And, and really that's what's going to make a difference. Um, Mandy, you have anything to add on the, on the, um, on the Zoom class? I, I know you, you took the 6 p.m. Um, yeah, it was actually really fun, like, mainly because I like being in a group setting when I'm working out, like, I'm not a very big fan of working out by myself, because that's why I didn't, like, choose to go to normal gym, um, but it was a lot of fun, like, having, you know, a coach in the background still encouraging you, like, it, was, it brought back kind of the class setting, and it was kind of nice, like, just to have someone there to, like, push you while you're working out by, on your own, because, I mean, <clears throat> working out by myself has been hard, because I take a lot more rest breaks and I'm not pushing myself as hard because it's just me in there and there's no one else to be like hey keep going move your butt let's go you know but it was nice having Jacob there kind of encouraging you and kind of telling you what you're doing wrong along, along the way it was just like having someone there with you so I liked it I enjoyed it a lot yeah that's awesome you yeah. know um so yeah guys Please tune in to those Zoom classes. Make it a priority. Um, 
and then see how you like how how you guys like it. I bet that you guys are really really going to enjoy it. Um, the the coaches put in a lot of time, and then we rehearsed and everything, and um, so yeah, it 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 was definitely a a good experience, and uh, you guys are gonna you I I bet you guys are really really going to enjoy the class, um, and the support and what it brings. Um, okay. And Irvin, I'll um, just throw in something there. We sent out an email to, uh, if you're going to do the Zoom class, just with some tips on it. Um, so if you're going to do it on your phone, try to download the app prior, um, as well as giving yourself about 10, 15 minutes before the class, if it's your first time signing into Zoom or trying the class, just so that once, once you get on or once you sign in, like you don't have any issues, you're ready to go once the class starts because it will start on time. Um, also, make sure your device is either charged or plugged in um, so it doesn't die like during the workout. And make sure you have your equipment nearby, including your water, um, towel if you need that. And you'll just like set up your phone or computer so that the coach will be able to see like your whole body, preferably. I think that was everything. Awesome, yes. Totally forgot that. Thank you. That's really good info because that first time it is going to be a little bit different if you haven't if you haven't if you done if you haven't done one or there were some people that just didn't, didn't download Zoom and things like that so um, it can take you oh signing in maybe ten minutes early your first time to kind of get right to kind of get a, a feel for it right yes is that what we talked about a little bit early signing in a little early to class yeah yeah definitely and then also like um, checking your internet connection too. So if you wanted to test it beforehand, I know yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I, you know, got one of our members on the phone or got her on through Zoom just so she could try testing it out online because she's never been on it before. So if that is something you want to do, we can invite you to a meeting, just reach out to us and we can just test it to make sure everything looks good to go on. Um, uh, one, one other thing that er Erica had mentioned, and she's going to do it herself is that she didn't like relying on the clock that we had because we had a clock in our in our zoom class because she was doing it on her phone and because her screen is so small she can't see the clock so she was gonna like uh get her own little ipad and use that as a clock um so if you if you are using a phone maybe have a have a plan of maybe using like a wristwatch or something like that for a clock um that might help if if, if the clock is going to be an issue for you if the screen is going to be small um the other thing is music Right, we're gonna provide music. Okay, we tested it out. We tested, you know, different volume settings and things like that, and you guys were still able to hear us. We're gonna provide the music, and then um, before the class starts, if you guys don't like our music, you guys can always mute it and then do your own, or right, just do the one ear pod on one side, and then that way you can hear the coach's cues on the other. Again, you know, this is your guys' experience. Like, you know, we're just trying to give you guys tips on like some of the lessons learned that that um, that we had this last Friday. So. Again, if 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 um during the if during the class you're one of those that's like, man, I never liked their music. This is the time to to get your own music in, right? What better time than now? So, um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's everything that we have, guys. Okay, so Zoom classes, equipment rental, right? Cooking class with Erica at five thirty, right? And then the thirty minute consults, right? And then you guys will be able to click on that link right there in red. And it'll take you right to our calendar. You guys should fill up really easy information, and then we'll make and then we'll make ourselves available. We'll have that chat on whatever you guys want to discuss, talk about obstacles or whatever. So, um, okay, I'm gonna stop sharing the screen. Okay, cool. And we are about halfway halfway in um, our meeting. So that's perfect. So the first half, I, I, I wanted it to be like everything that, that I wanted to talk about. Um, now let's, let's uh, transition over to how are you guys feeling? Christy. Good. How are, Things how are, are going well. How are you holding up? Good. I, I've been trying to and do the workouts every day and try to stick to somewhat of a time frame to have some normalcy um but it's helped and the video links in the workouts that you guys are putting on sugar wad helps because some of the movements i wasn't sure if i was doing right so i could put my phone and have a little 
video there to make sure. So that it's been super helpful in getting some equipment to have in the garage. Um, it's made a big difference to keep on track with that. So. I can't hear you. What it's, can you hear me now? What has been the hardest part for you? Keeping a schedule has been hard because um, I usually have a pretty strict schedule and I go in the morning and I get to school and we have practice after school and I get home and eat dinner and do all this stuff. And now I have all this wide open time and it's like, oh my God, what do I do? Um, and so just making sure that every day before a certain time, you know, I'm getting these things done. And um, there's a few of us that have a, a group chat. And so that's helped where we can talk to each other, ask questions, answer questions, give motivation. Um, that's made a huge difference because it is this weird, you know, you're used to seeing these people every single day and now we're all isolated from each other just like that. It's weird. So. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate it. Zach, what's up, man? What's up, buddy? Am I on mute still? No, no, you're good. I got you. All right. Hey. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? Are you working out? You, I, uh, I see you posting your workout, so I know you're working out. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been nice. Uh, I've actually gotten my dad to come in and do it with me, too, sometimes. It's been nice getting him out there and do it with me. It's nice not doing it alone. That's probably the best part of having him out there is having somebody to do it with. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's been pretty good. Um, scaling has been difficult sometimes, uh, just trying to figure out how to get a good workout in with the stuff that I have. But it's been nice. Cool. So, see, like, I, I, you know, I, I don't want to go in, I do not want to go in depth because we got a lot of people on board, but see how, like, Zach, you're, you're talking about your scaling and, and things like that. There's very, very specific things. Why not schedule like a 30 minute consult with me? Right. And they just talk about it. Right. Like, you know, we have time, you know, within a class, like schedule that console and let's just talk about how you can scale, you know, this or that, or, you know what I mean? So, um, I know you guys have obstacles and I know you guys have, you know, we all have different things at different levels. So let's schedule that, you know, let's schedule that. So I, you know, Schedule that with one of our guys, if not me, and then and click on that link, and then and then uh, we can you know discuss all that stuff for sure. Um, cool, man. Keep keep up the good work on that, dude. I see see you posting your workout, so I know that you're motivated and and and, and you're still going. Do you, do you feel like now that are you at home now? Right, school is at home. And uh, so I went back up. I'm living. With, I'm back with my parents right now up in uh, the Dallas area. Okay. Uh, because I didn't, I didn't really have anything around my apartment that I could work out with, so I just came up here, especially okay. to save money and stuff. But uh, right, yeah, cool, man. But yeah, man, schedule that, and we'll get you squared away. Cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Um, hey, Des, what's up? Hello. Des, hey, how? How do you stay so motivated? Man, like you never miss a day, right? Like you are <laughs> relentless, right? And I know that there's some people here that, you know, including myself, right? Like it's, it's uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things going on and stuff like that, but man, you, you never miss a day. So, you know, you know, what keeps you motivated? That group chat, like Christy said, that we got going on with all the fit crew, man, they're awesome. They really are. You know, I'm at work all day and I'm just seeing them. Hey, we already got it in. We already got it in. I'm just like, oh, I got to get home to get it in because they're already beating me, you know. But this weekend, probably the first weekend that I missed the whole workout because of the rain and all the stuff. So I'm going to try to get it in today, see what happens. I'm working all day today again. <laughs> cool. But so yeah, that, that, so that, that group chat that they got. Oh, yeah, it really does. Everybody's so motivated on there. You know, we all push each other. It's great. Awesome. Cool. Hey, Lily. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. Have you been working out? Yes. 
How's, how's that going? It's good. It's a little challenging uh, getting my dog out of my way sometimes. So sometimes I just have to shut the door on him. Um, but it's also been a little challenging when the workouts have like running or something because I live on the third floor. So I like, do my stuff on my balcony and then I go downstairs and do my run and then come back up. So my time is a little bit off, but I'm just trying to figure it out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, have you been, I, I, I don't know if you, have you been logging your stuff? Yeah, I think my sugar water is on private, so that's probably why you might not be seeing okay. it, but I'm fine. I've been it. All right, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. What do you, what do you think is your, your biggest obstacle I mean, besides living on the third floor, you know, um, anything you want to share? Um, Again, like what Zach was saying, just scaling. Um, sometimes the weight that I have is good, and sometimes it's like way too much, or too light. So I just either have to find other households or really struggle. All right. Okay. Cool. See, like all, all this stuff is like very, very like, and I'm asking these very specific questions because like, and that's all stuff that, you know, we can help you guys very specifically, right? And it all takes you guys to schedule that with us. Because, man, we're going to be – we're going to – the coaches are, are in the office working, right? So, um, you know, we're going to be here for you guys. So I don't want you guys to think that we're just, like, hanging out, you know? Like, we're, we're going to be here. I want you guys to schedule those, those meetings so we can, you know, individually help you guys out, right? Um, let me see. Lewis. I need pink. I need pink. Des, can you mute? Can you mute yourself? Oh, how do I do that? Oh, there. <laughs> Lewis. Hi. Hello. How are you? I can, I, I'm fine. I can say that probably the best advice I got was listening to Julia last week when she said, I'm still working to stay on schedule. So I get up early morning, just like I always have. The only problem I'm having is if there's a run, it's dark. And of course my husband doesn't want me. I don't want to run either. So I, I need, when you post urban, can you put like the time and the number of jumping jacks we should be doing in place okay. of the running? Yeah. Okay. That's the only thing that, I'm staying on, if I, I just get up, I just make sure that I'm on my same routine every day. Cause if I don't do that, then I'm not going to work out after work. Okay. It, it, it is dark and then it's supposed to rain all week too, supposedly. Yeah. And, and like the other girls were saying, we, uh, we have that group chat with the ladies. I should say Mark, Mark's the only man in there, but anybody's welcome. Uh, it is so motivating. Yeah. He just, he just goes right along. It's so motivating having them as well. It's really helping a lot to, to create a group that keeps us accountable because that's what uh, they're doing. Awesome. Thank you, Lewis, for sharing. Um, Carmen, how are, how's your workouts going? We're doing good. Jeff and I, oh, there he is. Oh, he's here. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're doing good. So we're kind of, I guess it's an interesting time for us because we're new to CrossFit. So I would say that, um, you know, we kind of got just, a, it was a teaser, right? Like a couple of months of being able to go to the gym and kind of getting to know people and making friends and kind of getting the gym family. And then all of a sudden we just kind of, you know, we, we had to stop. But I would say that um, it really hasn't, I feel like we're still motivated considering, I guess we're kind of unique because we, we, we haven't been so invested in going, you know, for months and months or years and years, but I don't think we've lost motivation. I think we're still kind of staying plugged in. Um, the other thing I felt like is like kind of sitting at home at night and kind of, we're, it's kind of doing research, you know, the night before on what we're going to do in the morning has also made us a little bit more uh, CrossFit savvy because we like Googling, you know, workouts instead of just showing up to the gym and having, you know, Trevor say, okay, this is what you're going to do or Tommy or Jessica, you know. So I think that's helped us to really kind of get educated and invested in the CrossFit, just doing our own um, um, background work and stuff like that. So 
um, anyway, I don't know. I, I, it's, we've been, we, I think we've been staying um, on track. I, I think, you know, we're a little bit, I, I would say I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to speak for my husband, but uh, you know, we're still trying to get a feel for how this all works. But um, a thank you to you guys for kind of keeping us going considering that we're still kind of new. So you guys are doing a great awesome. job. Awesome. What about Jeff? Does Jeff want to say say a few words? Unmute. I think he's going to unmute himself. Okay. Uh, we just motivate each other, and we uh, are really enjoying the workouts. When we can um, get those in, we're pretty regular with it. But uh, your videos every day on Sugar Wad really help us. Yeah. to uh, stay on track and uh, seeing the results other people enter and the fist bumps. It's the community still continuing. Like you say, we're not the brick and mortar gym right now. We're on our own and staying in community through technology. And uh, it's, it's working. And I enjoy being a part of uh, Contender CrossFit. It's really good. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Pre uh, I really appreciate that, man. And I, uh, for, for both of you, I've seen your scores on, on, uh, on Sugar Wad, and every time I get a chance, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to uh, uh, fist bump you guys. But, you know, that's cool. I, I, I'm, I'm really glad that I got to talk to you guys are here because you guys are new, right? Like, you know, a lot of our, you know, a lot of our members here that are here have been doing CrossFit. Um, for a while, for a long time, right? Like, you know, so I think sometimes we, we, we take things for granted sometimes. Um, and, and, uh, it, it's, 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 it's nice to see that you guys are and it's awesome to see that you guys are like, you know, taking that next step to like really, really take it upon yourselves to educate yourself and, you know, um, you know, and, and I think a big part of that too is because you guys' background is part of your jo guys' job to stay physically fit. Um, that also helps a lot too. But I mean, I think that's, that's an awesome, awesome example of what we try to do here at the gym is that we're not just trying to run you guys through a workout is that we're really trying to um, teach you guys to the point that you guys can become, you know, uh, have the knowledge enough that you guys can become almost, you know, coaches at one point, um, you know, and really dive deep down into like what the workout is, the movements, the quality of the movements and like, you know, and putting that into your own. Cause at the end of the day, like we are all responsible for our own health, right? Like all of us. Right. And, and I think that like, it does take some self responsibility, like, you know, um, and a little bit of homework on your own to really, you know, make this come full circle for yourselves rather, rather than just coming in for an hour and working out and then just going about your day. You know, and, and I, I, the people that succeed the most and the fastest are the people that are really doing that, you know, um, outside the gym and, that's, and, and, and not just inside the gym, you know. So I think that that's, that's you know, that's one, lesson, that's one lesson that everybody's like forced to do right now because of that, you know. So I think that that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty awesome. Um, let me see what I have here. Ah, Marianne, who's Marianne? Is Marianne gone? Yeah. Gabby, what's up? Hi. Hi. What's up? How are you doing? How are you doing with your workouts and 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 adapting to this new city? So Gabby, guys, is she's our, our, our new coach. She literally like hopped on with us like a week and then we had to close. Uh, but Gabby is new to Corpus, right? She's 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 new here in town and uh you know, so I think it'll be a, a, not nice to get some words from her and get her perspective on how uh, she's doing. Yeah, so hi, I haven't met uh, quite a few of y'all, actually. Um, my first class would have been the first day that we were closed, so that's kind of sad, but I did get to walk for a couple of weeks, which was really fun. So this is very strange. I have been coaching since 2000. I've been crossfitting since 2012 and coaching since 2015. And this is new. This is like unprecedented, I think, for everybody. Um, but the great thing is, I will say, I just came from a box in uh, Houston that I coached at for several years. And I'm very impressed with what Urban and the team are doing, actually. There's a lot of resources out there. 
Um, these Zoom classes that he's kicking off are just extraordinary. I'm not really seeing much of that kind of caliber of work anywhere else. So this is an awesome resource. It is really hard to stay motivated. I'm going to say that right now. I am quite blessed to have quite a bit of equipment at home because I've moved around a lot. But it's still really hard. Even I'm uh, lacking motivation. I'm also working still uh, and going into work. I'm in oil and gas. So that's strange that life is kind of still progressing, but not really. Everything's different. Um, but there are a lot of resources, and it does help me to realize that there's a whole world of people that are in the same boat right now. Feeling lack of motivation is totally normal. You kind of just have to address it and be like, okay, let me just move a little bit today, whatever it is. Um, my dog also gets really invested in my workouts. So she likes to, whenever I do a push up, she has to be in my face licking it. So that's, you know, its own little workout in itself. Um, but it's part of it. Um, and, and again, there's so many of us that are experiencing, and I'm, I'm super impressed with the resources. There's a couple of things out there too um, going on that um, I don't know if you've mentioned Irvin, but. Um, United Movement, a couple of things that a lot of uh, the CrossFit community is pushing forward. There's uh, ways to stay involved and also social media to see that it's not just us that are kind of struggling. And at the end of the day, you're like, how do I even get to do a workout in my living room with laundry detergent? Like, that's so awkward. But just remembering that any little movement that we do, it's, it's better than nothing. So that's what keeps me going. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, guys, for sharing. Um, yeah, so you got email. I mean, we're all struggling, guys. I mean, you know, Gabby's super fit. You know, she she loves CrossFit. She's a CrossFit coach for years. You know, and we're all struggling. You know, so it's 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 so hard. Um, so you know, we are not in this by ourselves, right? We're we're in this together. All of us. We're all struggling at you know at at, at any level whether it be in your workout, whether it be a, you know, I'm struggling with being at home with the two bait, with the two girls, you know, and then I'm trying to still prioritize myself, right. And the gym. And then I got to lead the coaches and I got to lead 250 members. Then I got two little babies. You know what I mean? So it, it man, it's so hard. It, it's so hard. Right. So, um, you know, we're all, we're all struggling. Right. So, you know, at, at any given level. So it, and you know, so I think that like movement is going to be very, very important. Um, and not even worrying about so much about your time. I think we talked about this last time. Like who cares about your time? Who cares about, well, I didn't run 800 meters. I ran 750 meters. Like who cares? Right. Like put in, uh, put in a score, put in your, your score on there. Like everybody knows that we're not all perfect right now right? The, 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 the movement quality is not going to be great. The intensity is not going to be the same. The environment's not going to be the same. Um, and, and really, you know, to be honest with you, like, uh, you know, if, if your goal right now is to like get substantially better, you know, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot a little bit. Okay. Right. Like your goal is to try to, you know, obviously like, if you're brand, brand new, spanking new, then I think you can, you can make some progress, but you know, um, if you've been, if you've been at this for a little while, you're like, man, I, I don't want to lose them, but you can lose. Right. So it's just all about maintenance and, and having the right mindset and just knowing that like, man, I'm moving, not just for, for, for like physically, but also just for mental health. Right. And just to keep me, keep me going. Um, cause what happens if we go this for another 30 days? Like, you know, you know, or, you know, so you know, that's, that's the kind of mentality that we, we need to, you know, that we need to think about. Um, and that's what I was telling the coaches that, man, we're, we're no longer a brick and mortar gym. We are now an online gym, right? And that, that is the mentality now. And for you guys it's like, all right, I'm now working out at home. And I think as we go through it, we'll start figuring out, we'll start figuring it out. And what was going to work was not going to work for you. Maybe the zoom calls are not going to work for you. Maybe the zoom calls are too structured and whatever. And you don't have that kind of time. And you're like, man, I just need to get in, do a little workout, right? 30 minutes and out right? Right now, because of whatever reason, right? So maybe the Zoom calls are not going to be the right fit for you, right? And that's why I'm, we're still, I'm, I'll still be doing the videos and everything that we've been offered, we're still going to be there. Um, so we're just adding, right? So, you know, so again, we're just going to throw different things at you, right? So um, as far as like support and then whatever fits best for you, you guys need to, I want you guys to take advantage of it. 
Um, hey, Roy, Marianne, what's up, guys? There you go. How's it going? How are you guys doing? Doing good. Doing just okay. Just trying to be active and <laughs> trying. <laughs> yeah. Trying to work out whenever we can. Marianne's working night shift now, so we're trying to like. She just started the other day, so we're trying to figure out, you know, what works best for us as far as working out together and, you know, not waking her up while she's sleeping and stuff, you know? Can you guys, can you guys give a little bit of, uh, like, what do you guys do so people know? Like, I know, but, so that way, the people Oh, too. what we do? For, for, like, for work? For work? For work. Yeah, yeah, for work, yeah. Roy's a, a mailman who works at the post office, and I'm an ICU nurse. So I just started working night shift last, last week. So I've been trying to continue working out but also trying to maintain a sleep schedule that works for me and so if Roy's on the flip side um he's actually taking a break from work right now because everything going on yeah there's uh that one positive case was at the station I worked at the Lamar station so I had a little bit of contact with an individual so I'm kind of like staying away from work for a few days just to make sure I'm not sick or anything <laughs> But yeah, so it's good that we we have quite a bit of equipment at home, so we've been able to do um, scale the workouts a little bit. But for the most part, we have quite a bit of equipment to get the workouts done. Cool. So, so I, I would say that um, for you guys, are you guys trying to work out together? Are you guys just totally doing it separate, or? Well, we, we do the workouts together, but some things we kind of have to alternate um, between rounds. Like for the Murph prep, instead of doing a 200 meter run, um, it was raining. So we were kind of alternating between rowing because we have one rower and then doing air squats in between. So we just kind of alternate as much as we can. Cool, cool, cool. What about um, obstacles? Like, like, you know, what do you guys see as far as like um, Marianne? Part of your job, I know, cause I'm, you know, Erica's a nurse too. But as far as motivation, are you know, are you having a hard time with that, or or like just trying to get working out? Is it starting your workout? Is it just motivation, or is it? You know, I know you guys are busy. The motivation of just getting in my gym clothes and getting off the couch. Roy is always on me though, so it's nice to have somebody to like. Okay, let's go. Let's go work out. Let's go work out. <laughs> which has been helpful for me because honestly, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> it's hard for me to find the motivation, especially since I started working night shift. I just need to get up and do it. So. Yeah, I'm the same way. It's always kind of hard getting started, but like I noticed that like once we're actually working out and then after it's like, we feel way better. We're just like, and then it's, it's actually really fun, you know, like after we're like, oh man, I'm, you know, I'm glad we did that. You know, it was just, uh, it just makes it fun, you know, especially because there's mm -hmm. two of us, you know, so it's, it's cool. So yeah. I'm actually looking forward to like, you know, getting involved in the Zoom classes to see yeah. how that's going to be, you know. Yeah, we miss the we miss the gym. We miss everybody working out in a group setting. So we're excited for it. Awesome. Thank you guys for, for, uh, for sharing. Um, yeah, and we hope to, to bring that to the uh, to the Zoom class, right? That community aspect, uh, the intensity. Like Tommy was saying, like, man, I think Tommy was like in, in, in our private chat, he was like, man, I plan to just go like easy today, but then I got in the chat and I went hard today, you know? So I think that's really going to help, you know, us on those days, Marianne, like you're saying, you work those long hours, man. I, I, I know I see it through Erica and then you're waking up at one o'clock in, in the afternoon and that's your morning. And then you're like, oh man, you're having a hard time getting up. So, um, and, and I'm sure there's, you know, there's a lot of people uh, like that as well. So and it's really going to help. Um, to get that, you know, kickstart and then, you know, the accountability part of it. And then just seeing people's faces, like it's so nice to sit here and then see people and stuff like that. I haven't seen in a little while. So I think that that's all, that's always really, uh, really awesome. Um, what up? Let's, let's, um, Jess, what's up, Jess? I know you've been working out. I've seen your videos. Yeah. Trying to, um, I'm lucky I have seed here. So we try to do it together. He's home from work most of, the, most of the time too. So we do our workout and we log it in and it's going okay. It's going all right. I know you're That's motivated. I know you're motivated for sure. Like, like what's this help? What has helped? I know you have, you know, you have your two kids, right? And then. Yeah. You know, yeah. So well, what I think, has helped I you? think the good thing for me is that kind of a thing I get to do for myself. Like we're inside work. We're doing the stuff around the house. So it's time just to go do something. For me since we can't go anywhere really so i kind of take it as that and then you know i'm excited to do the zoom classes we did them on friday and 
it was a lot of fun. So I think I'll try to do that when I can. Um, probably the noon class and I, you know, it's going well and just trying to take that time for myself and to stay fit. Cause, and I keep trying to do it outside. Cause I know once we go back to the gym, it's going to be hot. It's going to be summer. So I'm like, if I do it inside, I'm going to get too used to that. So we do it outside and that's about it. And, um, I'm in contact with the fit class on that chat and they're really, really awesome. I just have to say for all of them that they really try hard and they motivate me to work out too. Cause they're always like, Oh, I already got it done. So I'm like, well, I guess I should go do it too. So that's kind of how it's going. And thank you. Thank you for all the workouts. Thank you, Jess, for sharing. Uh, appreciate that. Cass, what's Cassie? What's up, Miss Cassie? How are you doing? Oh, man, I was trying to hide from you, not make eye contact. No, I love going to Cassie because Cassie <laughs> is very, very insightful. She's very real. And then, um, so I, that's why I, I, I love hearing uh, Cassie's insight on how she's doing. <laughs> all right well um i'm not sure if you can see um so yeah this is it's been i'm still trying y'all it's so hard to be single mom still working trying to keep up with everything with jobs um i'm i'm very black or white black and white right so i tried to do the whole uh schedule thing and that just doesn't work for me <laughs> at all because what's what's happening is you know people working from home the technology of having texting and emailing and everything is just kind of out of control i still i wish people would still have working hours <laughs> you know what i mean so like um just to make sure people can have a life and a schedule um, i'm really looking forward to having the zoom classes be scheduled um, because at least that's like three options, right? I mean, I would love to say like, I'm, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to go to the 6 a.m. Zoom class, but then, you know, I'm by myself and I also have a daughter that doesn't know how to go to the restroom by herself yet. So <laughs> there's, if she has to go potty, she's got to go potty and I got to help her. Um, hey. And so, you know, with my workouts too, it's, it, my workouts really was my way to, get alone time and to really like de-stress. And so that's been kind of challenging for me is that I haven't really, I have been working out at a way different hour than I'm normally used to. So I'm used to like um, um, either morning or an afternoon. And I've been working out at like 7.30 at night, which is completely different for me, which pushes everything back, right? If I haven't had everything timed out perfectly with work and a kid. So um, that's been different, but the cool thing I've realized so far in this whole two weeks is that something that I thought was impossible is not, and that's been really um, powerful for me because I never, ever, ever wanted to work out at home. I wanted my home just to be where I could be with me and my family and my daughter, and that's it, um, and I never really wanted to go outside in my backyard. Um, but here I am going outside in my backyard working out and it's very possible. Um, is it a perfect workout? No, but just getting out and moving feels really awesome. And that's kind of the priority for me is that a getting out and moving. So something that I thought was impossible is now possible. So I really love everything that contender is offering. Um, you know, without this gym, I don't even know where I would be. Good job. Baby. Um, you know, so it's been, uh, physically healthy for me and mentally healthy um, for me being a part of this gym. So I appreciate everything you're doing, Urban. It's just, you're awesome. So thank you very much for everything. Thank you, Cass, for sharing. Um, so just so that you guys know, I don't take all the credit for that because like all the graphics, all the um, event pages, all the social media stuff, that's Cass. So that's not me. So that's her right there. Um, but no, no, we have a great team of, of, of individuals and, and people that really make this whole gym kind of, um, you know, go around and obviously our, 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 our members. So, um, you know, we're, we're very, very, very proud of that. Um, does, does anybody have anything else to share? Anything? 
Tommy? No, nobody, nobody. Okay, guys, well, tomorrow is going to be day one of this whole month-long quarantine deal thing, okay? April 30th, I think, is the, is the new date, right? So it's four weeks. Um, I really want you guys to take advantage of us, okay? Take advantage. We, we, this opportunity is not going to happen again. The, the mindset can't be like, oh, well, I'm at home, and, you know, this sucks, and everything is closed. and we're, Man, we're, we're never going to have this time ever again like this. I know I'm not, right? I, I own a gym. I'm here. At, I wake up at 4 in the morning, and, I don't, and I'm not at home until 9 o'clock at night. So, you know, this time that, I've, that, that, that I have, I'm taking it to, to, to just kind of like um, spend with my family, um, read a book or two that I've been wanting to read that I don't have time for that I've been wanting to do. Right? I'm looking at my finances. I'm looking at my vision. I'm re, I'm re, I'm, I'm re looking at my vision. I'm re uh, thinking about where I'm going with the gym next for the next five years, man. I'm like this, we, we have time, right? And you, and we, with all this time, sometimes it can get overwhelming because our days are not structured. You may, so maybe you have, you have, you know, you have a problem with that and, and, and putting that all together. Um, so, you know, if you guys, if you guys need help on anything, it doesn't have to be health. It doesn't have to be fitness. Um, it can be anything, right? Schedule that 30 minute call with one of us. And even if you just want to vent and just talk to somebody, do it. You know, I think it's just like, and it, it doesn't even have to be a coach. It can be just some of, uh, I don't know, somebody, a, a, a relative, a family member, somebody from your class um, that you got really close with, right? Like supporting each other, seeing each other's faces and just, you know, talking, um, especially if you're at home by yourself or, you know, you're, you know, with not other grownups, it, it's nice to talk to other people. Um, and, um, and just, you know, um, you know, vent and open up and, and just share. Right. Um, but yeah, use this time, use this time to really like organize your life, organize your pantry, reorganize your whatever you, you know, that, that one room that you've been wanting to clean that you've never cleaned. And because of this and that or whatever, I mean, we, we have, we have, you know, we're going to have some time to be able to do everything that we wanted to do just because of life and, and all kinds of, you know, things that you prioritize with, with events and things on the schedule and things like that. Um, you know, um, this will be a really, really, really good opportunity to get something productive done. Um, you know, and, um, you know, not just waste this next month, you know, um, and definitely I do not want you to come back in May and tell me like three days into the, into the gym when we open up, like, Oh, I'm so sore. I was like, yeah, cause you didn't work out all month. Right. Like we're going to know those people that are going to come in and they're going to be like dying because they didn't work all month long. They didn't work out and they're going to be really, really sore. So I definitely do not want um, that to be you guys. But, uh, so yeah, guys, that's it. That's an hour. That's all I have. I think we went over everything. Thank you everybody for sharing. Um, you know, um, these, these weekly calls, we're going to have these weekly calls every Sunday at 1 PM. That's my plan to do one with everybody. Um, this, this is like, I'll end it with this. Um, everybody did what we did is we, everybody got assigned the coach, right? So we have, um, five coaches that everybody got assigned the coach. So you're going to get a text message. You're going to get an email from a coach personally, right? And that'll be your coach for the next month. Okay. So everybody's getting their own coach. All right. So within here in the next couple of days, you're going to get a text and um, uh, a, a phone call, and then they're going to be checking up on you a couple of times a week. And then you might have a zoom call with them as well. Um, so a small group zoom call. And then on Sundays, we'll try to do something like this where it's like the whole gym and it's just open to everybody where everybody can just share and talk. And I don't know, just go. And then we'll, hopefully next week we can talk about the zoom, the zoom classes and how they went and, and hopefully, uh, um, they went, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. So cool. Awesome guys. Reach out to us if you guys need anything. Okay. Does anybody have anything else? You good? All right, guys. Adios. Bye, Lily. Bye. Bye, Zach. Bye, Kat. Bye, Dez. Bye, Carmen. Bye, Jeff. How do you end this? Oh. Mando, is that you? Was that you with the truck?
Roy, you got the corona, Vato? You all right? Unmute, unmute. Hey, what's, what happened? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I just, we found out earlier this week that um, one of my coworkers had tested positive. Uh-huh. And um, so we found out, I think we found out Monday, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday morning, forgot what day it was. And the last contact I had with the guy was last Friday. I mean, it wasn't physical contact. We were just in the same break room. But even just based off that, I felt like I needed to kind of like quarantine myself. So yeah. like stay away. So oh, yeah, I mean, I don't have any symptoms. I'm not sick or anything, but I'm just kind of more playing it safe because I mean, I don't know who else he was in contact with that I was working with. You know what I mean? Right. So, luckily, at the post office that they, they allow us to take that, you know, that sick leave if we feel if we feel the need to. So I was fortunate for that. Holy shit! Dude. Yeah, man. So, how old was the guy? The guy was uh, he's he's a young guy. He's my age. He's probably in his thirties. Did he go out of town? Did he say or no? Was it? Uh, we don't know exactly what happened, but uh, I have a feeling he was he wasn't he was out and about when he shouldn't have. So, oh really? Oh shit! So, no, they they stress out about staying at home as much as possible. So that's I mean that's the reason why. Is the mail still getting out delivered? Oh yeah, it's gonna it's okay. gonna go. They're not gonna stop. I mean, there's rumors about the post office shutting down, but it's that's definitely not gonna happen. No. That would be crazy, dude. Yes, mm -hmm. it would. But I mean, we're both pretty fortunate, though, so to be able to keep working, you know. Yeah. Oh man, well, stay safe, bro. Yes, sir. Hopefully, we see you guys soon. Yes. Hey, those we'll Zoom, class, Zoom. The, the Zoom class are gonna be awesome, dude. We did. Yeah. Them on, we did them on Friday. We did like a, a two test runs, man, and they were awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah. They're, this is a totally different feel. You know what I mean? Than just working out by yourself. When you have yeah. that, that knowing that you have somebody there watching you and then you're doing it with other people, like you get that, yeah, obviously it's not the same, but you get the, you know, you get the support, you know? So it's cool. It'd be cool. I like set up like a bigger screen in our garage that way you can yeah, see, like, you know, you can cool. see everyone like, you know, in, in, a, in a bigger view. As well, well, like, yeah. Of and that's why we did it here. Cause I got the projector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're able to see, we're going to be able to see if it's like 50 people in there. Right. We'll be able to see them really big. With the projector, so that's what we did in, in inside the gym. So it'll be fun. Wait, we miss, yeah, we miss everybody at the gym. <laughs> oh man, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Eric, was, that's why I'm here. I'm here at the, the gym because I tried to do the same call last week um, at home. Um, <laughs> Mia was like, "Let me in, let me in." You know, she was just crying and crying because she just wants to be around me. You know. Uh -huh. that's, that's what a lot of people are facing with, with right now as far as working out of home. Like, that's got to be hectic, you know? Everybody's, everybody's loving the teachers right now. Like, oh, thank God for our teachers. Yeah. The, kids, oh. right? the kids are driving them crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, now you, now you know what you got. <laughs> <laughs> You'll win. Yep, yeah, now you, you don't have an angel. <laughs> but, all right, guys. All right, Irvin. Nice seeing all you, right. Irvin. All right, guys. Hey, what, what Zoom class are you guys thinking of coming? It just depends. Well, on the girl, they're probably the noon class. I'll probably wake oh. up in the afternoon. Okay. All right, guys. Tomorrow, All see right. you. Bye. Okay, Take care. You too. Wait, were we the only ones that